Now, right there, Chitra Dam, there's some hippo in the background. You might just see the heads popping up every now and then. But this elephant is drinking. I am happy, <laughs> and so is the elephant. Now, I wonder, let's watch. He might be eating some of the mud there. Let's just see what it does with that trunk. Let's, let me just see. It looked like it was loosening some mud. Uh, now, it's deciding to move. But that's such a beautiful view of it at the dam. Looks like a youngish male. <laughs> my absolute favorite to see them down at the water. So my plan of coming to have a look down here paid off. Even though this elephant just decided to have a quick drink and move on. There's actually a few of them here. There's looks like three young males. This one and then just off to my right there are actually two others that have already moved off into the bush. And they um looks like they're busy playing with one another. Have a look at that. Uh, Shelly, you say hello beautiful boy. Yeah, uh, it's lovely to Oh, hello to you too, Shelly. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yes, it's lovely to see these elephants. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. But uh, just off to the right, you'll see there the other two, other two males. So three young males together. Just to, And this often happens where you find um, young elephant bulls moving around together. Um... It does occur from time to time. Sometimes they actually meet up with big dominant males. And the reason for that is the big males usually teach these younger males how to be successful. And they'll, um, they'll teach them where to look for good food, water, also how to find the females, where to find the females, where to look for females. So um, it's lovely to see them moving through the bush. So we, um, I think what we're going to do is um, we'll head down and reposition at the dam and just see if we can find anything else down there. Uh, do you mind saying, uh, like, hi, Colleen? So I think, um, I think what we'll do is we'll quickly link to... Oh, dear. I know, we've lost signal in the Mara at the moment. Sorry about that. So the Mara, as you know, is the signal's up and down a little bit, but luckily we still have the um, the elephant behind us. I'm not sure if Ali, where Ali is at the moment. And you see how Ali was actually chatting about how these elephants cool themselves in the heat of the day. And with it being such a warm day, you notice how that elephant's flapping its ears very slowly. Now they've got a huge network of veins running through their ears. So by flapping it, it cools the blood down in the ears, which in turn helps cool the body. Not by much, but by a few degrees. It takes about between seven and nine minutes for the blood to circulate through the body. So that's why those elephants flap their ears like that. As I said, I think we might move down to the dam. And while I do that and find a good position, let's head across to Ali and see where she is and what she's found. <laughs> 